Hey there guys and gals. Welcome back to Codes Empire. I'm Jason. Um, got the G6 here, Bolt, and we're still working on it. Um, getting ready to do the interior lights on the dash. So I wanted to do its very own video for this because I thought it would be really cool because you could do it with just about any dash you know in any uh, RC rig so I thought why not let's do it so anyways I know I just gotta show you throw these uh, through these recon G6 challenge uh, stickers in on the floor mat kind of as a floor mat I thought why not that's kind of a cool way to use that so anyways just thought I would showcase that so <clears throat> here is <clears throat> Our interior gauges okay and we're gonna get them ready for backlighting so that's gonna be kind of a, a fun little deal so the key thing is you need a very sharp razor knife make sure I mean if you have a razor knife cool put a fresh blade in it I highly recommend it because this will make this job a lot easier. It will make it so you get it trimmed out the way you want. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna zoom in on this here a little bit, get down on the project so you can actually see how we're gonna go about trimming this up and making it ready for backlighting. Okay, now that you're down in and on here and you can kind of see the actual gauges a bit here and I've got my sharp razor knife okay what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through and it's totally up to you how you want to do this I'm personally gonna just nick out all the little lines on the gauges just that way so it looks like it's actually illuminating um, the actual dash. I'm also going to nick out the actual dial arm, okay? Because I want that to show up with the backlighting. So I think it'll look pretty cool using uh, the blue LEDs as backlighting, and it should look really neat on the dashboard once we get the lights in there. So <clears throat> the trick to doing this. And I'm sorry, I hopefully I don't lean into the camera too much, but I definitely have to get in there just a little bit. Okay? That's all I'm going to do. So I'm just going to go in. Find it. Just kind of scratch it. Okay? So I'm, I'm, I'm pressing down when I'm doing this. Kind of dragging it for a second just to get the line. Okay, and hopefully this should work out pretty good. It's not going to let a ton of light through, but it will let enough light through that it should illuminate and make it look, have a just a, a neat appearance. Okay, and the key thing is, is as I, and believe me, I think it would be real cool to, you know, etch out the circle or whatever, make it so that illuminates up too. You do that when you go to peel this off it's gonna all fall apart so you probably don't want to do that like I said sticking to just all the lines and your uh, actual dials themselves will give you should give you the look you're wanting to look for. So as far as we're gonna go ahead and we'll prep all these up and we're not going to worry about these white ones because we're not going to use the white dials. I want to stick to kind of the, the gray color scheme, kind of keep keeping it all the same so it looks similar. So um, just real quick, too, I'll show you how to do the dial. And then the rest of this we're going to do off camera real quick and come back and we'll start installing it. 
Okay. So there we are. So all I did was just drag the drag the razor blade down through the dial actually and gave it a nice line. So that should allow some light, especially once you get this peeled off and you go to get it stuck on there. That should give us the look we're looking for. Um, with the dial, I might actually I might drag it one more time to actually remove a little bit of material to actually make that dial illuminate a bit more. That's a possibility here. Let's go ahead and do that. It's a real trick. I, I apologize. I'm getting down in the film here just a bit but it's like I want to be able to see what I'm cutting and it's definitely tough okay now hopefully with some success here and get this to kind of lift out of here a little bit so it looks like I got it drug out of there. Cool. So it's real light. I, I honestly, I don't think you'll be able to hardly notice it on the camera. I mean, you can see some white poking through right now. So you can see it some to a point. But once we get the backlighting behind this, you'll be amazed at how this will look. So let's go ahead and I'll zip through the rest of this off camera real quick. And... We'll get to, I'll show you and we'll get it installed here. So, so I finally have finished up all of my gauges. Um, on some of these like your water gauge and the voltmeter and the oil, there's a lot of little tiny ones in between. I didn't want to nick them all. But let me show you how this looks lit up. So we'll just grab one of these blue LEDs off the truck. That's going to light this up. Once we get these off the actual sticker pack too, they'll look really cool. So, let me kind of show you here. Let's get this situated a little bit. So, you can see with the LED in the back, okay, see how that lights up? So, you can see all the little numbers kind of pop out. And the numbers do show up overall pretty decent. But, that nicking of all the lines will actually it kind of allows more light to pop through because if you look as we shine it along the edge there you can see how that pops see look at that and then how about the volt light the volt one I've gone ahead and I've just lifted and tipped the roll cage out of the way a little bit I've got the gate or the dial gauges exposed so I can go ahead and sticker them but I've got a paper towel with just a little bit of rubbing alcohol on it just because I just want to kind of wipe the area clean where I'm going to apply these stickers real quick and the rubbing alcohol it won't affect the Lexan or anything like that I've never had any problem with it well that's clean should have most of the stuff wiped off and it should our stickers should apply pretty nicely so what I'm gonna do here let me grab that kind of wipe this blade off because I want a nice I need something kind of it's got a nice little point that I can work with to put the stickers on okay or decals whatever you would like to call them so all I'm gonna do I'm just going to carefully remove them off of our sheet. Okay. It's like I said, you remember, we you got to do it, be kind of careful, Vanessa, because we did go through and we poked, poked it all up. So it's definitely, it's kind of got some uh, holes that can allow it to rip easy. Okay, now I've got that placed. I'm just going to press and then I'm going to rub it across. So, we've got all that installed. Set the sticker pack out of the way. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little 
demonstration for you and I'll show you how it looks actually installed here. Let's see. Yeah, wow, that looks cool. The fuel and the water, all that's just lighting up beautifully. See, and the words, because they're painted in white, they actually, or they're done in white, they actually light up pretty nice overall. Let's see, our volts. Volts and oil. Wow, those look pretty cool too. Okay, so we've got that set up. The gauges are prepped and the next step is to actually back illuminate. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna re-secure back down the roll cage. I'll do that off camera real quick and we'll start prepping the underside to get ready to illuminate that our gauges up really nice so one moment we've got this flipped over got our stickers installed roll cages secure I'm gonna use some sure tape okay um, it, all it is basically it's a tape it's got a sticky backside and it's an aluminum type tape so instead of you know using some aluminum foil or whatever I can use this and I will use this to secure in the lights but also back it and give a reflecting coat across that that way we can get a nice illumination on our dials inside the actual cab itself so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut this out <coughs> to fit and I will get the LEDs into place here Oh, perfect. So now you can see. <coughs> so we've got that in place. And I'll peel off the backing. But that will allow us to hold our lights in place while we get it all secured in. And uh, it will also add an awesome reflective property to the actual backing of our instrument panels. Now we've got this peeled, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to get it started on the bottom edge, just a little bit, I don't want to totally stick it yet, because I want to get my LEDs in place. <coughs> so like I said, I've talked about using two in this, so we're going to put one. Um, to one side, kind of get that to hold in place there. Let's use the other one. Can glue it in with some shoe glue. Oh, very nice. You see that? Look at that. If that isn't slick, I don't know what is. I love the way that looks. So, and we'll do that with the other instrument panels in the middle. And it should look really neat when we're all done. Good deal. Well, now that we've got that secured in place, Okay, here comes the fun part, a little shoe goo. And this part's just really, it's really simple. I mean, just apply it. I like to use one of these small screwdrivers because it makes it a little easier. I'm just gonna get it to stick itself down all over here. So it'll start drying and hold those LEDs in place. So let's take a look here. I love the way that looks. I mean that really looks looks pretty cool overall. You know. So like I said, just it's a little scale touch. And if you really want I me, mean, you could go overboard. You could light up everything the little GPS just everything and have some fun with it for me this was good enough um, definitely fun so 
worth it uh, to add that special touch and we're just about there this is cool we don't want to fire it soon it is done Thanks for watching Toad and Pile. What I like about it is the sickles. They are super cool. I like about it, there's a door on the back and no on these. I like a door sickles. I like it what he has the lightning sickles. I like he, him have deep for wine toad and pile. I like the I like girl. this it's a deep for wine. I like this circle it's a pole light. And I like the lights on the back. I like and the front. This I like this. And I like the I like I like these I like these I like the all sea circles I like every single stick on it me too I it's like super these cool. I like these fraggies on this I like the fire door on it me too I like these on it you don't like five out of a door. This is super awesome. Yeah, we got a I window. I it. like a window. It is broken. I like it flat. I made it that way. True. Did you thought it might be super awesome? Yeah. Thumbs up. Thumb up. I like a I like um these. I like a seat. I like a top. Yeah. Thumbs up. Thumb up. And thanks for watching Codes and Pile. Thanks for watching Codes and Pile.